A few days ago, a subscriber asked us to make a video about the Sickle lightsaber. And upon research, we found one of the most messed up stories of a Sith Lord in all of the lore, and it could in fact have actually occurred in canon. So today, Acolytes of the Force, we will be discussing the terrifying story of Lord Noctis, her Sickle lightsaber, and her terrible fate. Lord Noctis is the only Sith in Star Wars Legends and canon to ever wield a sickle lightsaber, with the very blade of the lightsaber being bent. The story of Darth Noctis takes place entirely in the Dark Legends novel, legends told to a young Luke and Leia, legends to keep them up at night. By the way the novel is portrayed, this simply could be a figure of legend, or could have actually been a Lady of the Sith. That is left up to the interpretation of the reader. Her tale, though, is a tragic one. The novel explains that Darth Noctis was one of the first Sith Lords to ever exist in the Star Wars universe, existing in a time before the Old Republic era. It explains that Noctis wielded a power unlike any other Sith before her, existing in a period of time where the Sith are spread far out across the stars and are not one sole empire. It describes a being of insane power, a being who strives to be a goddess within the Force, an ultimate ruler of a galaxy subservient to her one united rule. But Darth Noctis has a problem. Although she has the power and possesses it to dominate the entire galaxy at her fingertips, being the most powerful Sith of her era, she has one fatal issue. The Dark Lady explains that it will take her many years to conquer the Star Wars galaxy, although she believes that she will succeed. In the end though, she believes her conquest will leave her an old, crippled woman, and her conquest as goddess, empress, will only last a few years. She says that endless kingdoms and empires would be meaningless to her if she only reigned over them for just a few years. Because of this, Darth Noctis formulates a plan a plan to first conquer immortality and then the galaxy at large. This is where she gave her famous speech of becoming more than an empress, becoming a dark goddess ruling the galaxy eternally. The novel goes on to state that she devastated many worlds in her quest to immortality, eventually finding her way to Exegol, the home of the Sith. After many years, Darth Noctis believed that Exegol finally held the secret. On the planet, she encountered a being a disgusting creature. The creature was bent over and contorted, but still Noctis could tell that once the creature had in fact been human, perhaps seared away by the very darkness that remained on Exegol. The creature was so much less than the soon to be dark empress of the galaxy, but the creature clearly held wisdom of the dying world and offered to share it with the dark lady. The creature calls itself Sangis and pledges to serve Darth Noctris in her quest. Venturing deep into Exegol, Darth Noctris discovers something terrible and something that she believes is also strangely beautiful, a path to immortality the notes of a Sith Lord in his entire laboratory still intact. After studying the notes extensively, she begins a three-day ritual, a ritual that will promise her eternal life and she can finally reign as Empress of the Stars. At the conclusion of the ritual, she is forced to do one thing, a thing that she deems an easy thing, murder and sacrifice Songis to the dark side. After doing so, she is granted the immortality that she has sought her entire life to obtain, but not all is as she believed it would be. The ritual mutilated her body, broke her arms and legs into unnatural positions. It aged her, creating a deformed, ugly monstrosity. And then she suddenly realized the truth of it all. The ugly creature that she had just sacrificed to the spirits and wills of the dark side was the Sith Lord that created the ritual. Sangis was in fact the Dark Lord Sangis, who had manipulated her to escape his immortal fate, a fate which he too ultimately achieved. In the end, it was only by the same ritual that the immortality would be broken, and that the Sith Lord before her would doom another to his same fate, and death would finally call to him. It's unknown the final fate of Darth Noctris, although she would eventually die before the year 21 ABY, with our personal theory here at the Archives being that she tricked another into this exact same ritual, causing another monstrous creature to venture Exegol in search of another victim so that they too can naturally pass on within the Force. In an interview following this, the creator of both of these Sith Lords, Grant Griffin, opened up about his story, saying that what he originally envisioned was a Dr. Frankenstein and Igor type story between the two of them. 
The author also states that the sickle lightsaber is unique to Darth Noctis alone, and that this was done so intentionally. The story of Darth Noctis is shown in the chapter of the book entitled A Life Immortal. What's perhaps most fascinating about the story of Darth Noctis is in the Dark Legends novel, her story is one of the most likely to have actually occurred. In the Shadow of the Book Sith, which follows Lando Calrissian and Luke Skywalker, it is revealed that Darth Noctis is a name chanted by the Sith cult on Exegol. And even more important than this, it's confirmed in the novel that the lightsaber with the curved blade did actually exist. Meaning that of the many stories in this book, Darth Noctis and her terrible fate, the terrible suffering of eternal life, is one of the most likely to have occurred. But anyway my friends, acolytes and fellow students of the force, what are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on the sickle lightsaber and the terrifying story of the Sith Lord who possessed it and her terrible ultimate fate on the world of Exegol? As always my friends and acolytes, be careful what you wish for. Thank you for visiting the archives and may the force be with you.